for all their hard work and the people uh, in the organization. We're moving on to our next story. Abu Dhabi police are giving out flowers instead of fines to traffic offenders. Imagine that. I love this story. <laughs> I really, really do. You actually found it. He wanted to, he wanted to cover this. I'm just like, no. She took it from me. <laughs> All words humanitarian. <laughs> yeah. So here's a much needed dose of something light and wholesome this morning. <laughs> um, now, earlier this week, the Abu Dhabi <laughs> Pobo were giving out flowers to offenders instead of traffic fines on various roads in Al Ain. Now, where... Can we apply to convert our black points into bouquets? Someone please tell us. <laughs> I like that. Black points to bouquets. Right? Genius. Like 10 black points, 10 roses. I love that. Good job, Simran. <laughs> uh, but no. No, the world isn't that kind. It's kind, but like, anyway. Uh, you know the saying, kill them with, with kindness, right? So it seems like the Abu Dhabi uh, traffic police squad are testing out the norm with their new initiative called Hand in Hand. Looking to correct minor driving violations through a unique gesture, the Abu Dhabi police stopped drivers and reminded them of the traffic regulations and capped the safety uh, reprimand with a rose and road uh, and a road and safety brochure, just like reminding them of the rules and regulations. Like here's a rose, and educate yourself. <laughs> But uh, at least somewhere, someone somewhere is getting flowers. Um. Sh- Sure not. <laughs> no one's giving me flowers. I mean, like, don't you feel like just doing a minor road accident just to get a flower? No, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. No. no, no. That's not a good idea. Just kidding. I'm desperate for flowers. No. I'll, I'll give you one, regardless. If it Drive makes safe, you happy. everyone. Drive safe. I'm just joking. And wear your seatbelts, please. And wear your seatbelts. And please put on your indicators, for the love of God. Honestly. Honestly. Now, this initiative <laughs> is aimed at enhancing awareness among drivers by educating them about the importance of safe driving by adhering to traffic rules and regulations to avoid accumulating traffic violations. Explain the Colonel uh, Saif Mohammed Al Ameri, Deputy Director of Traffic and Patrols Department in Al Ain. So that concludes that story. But oh my God, adorbs! I think it's so nice. Imagine knowing you violated one of the safety driving um, precautions and being stopped, only to find out that a cop's going to give you a rose. If that isn't the epitome of World Humanitarian Day, <laughs> and literally just giving back. I'm I'm a big believer that literally kidding them with kindness. I thought he was going to say I'm a big humanitarian. I was <laughs> yeah. going to be like hmm. a believer in doing the bare minimum and believing that it goes a long way. Literally saying thank you to someone is going to like make someone smile every day. Walking into the building, I make sure to say hi to the security downstairs just to like I don't know have have them have a nice start to their day. You know, so I think that's what it's about. But for you to get pulled over and get a rose. <laughs> I think that's so nice because obviously you're going to be scared. You know you did something wrong and a cop is stopping you. And for that um, switch to flip because someone gave you a rose and is like, no, you did this wrong, but here's how you can do better. That's so cute. It's like you really don't expect that. You expect that, "Uh, what are you doing? And then you get a rose. It's just like, what? (laughs) I would think I was in a reality show. Just look around and go like. Like pumps? <laughs> no, like, is this real? Is this for real? But, um, yeah, just. And it, it will, you're. You will eat things. You are more likely to remember that one rose that you were given than the points that you were given. Because. That's true. You know? Yeah. So it's going to yeah. have that impact in your brain. And moving forward, you're going to want to do similar acts to people around you. And just generally, this story can be implemented in any context, in anyone's life. Um, just. Changing the way you approach things, changing how you can speak to someone. I think that's what the story is all about. Oh my God. I think I'm going to approach my roommate with a rose and ask him like, please, let's keep the AC in room temperature, not make it freezing every day. <laughs> But I'll 